Hey crafters, so today I wanted to try something new on Creative Fabrica, which is their new studio feature where you can create your own designs directly in Creative Fabrica Studio. So I'm going to press on design now and I'm going to go ahead and just start designing. I have never done this before. I've never seen a tutorial on how to do this. So we're going to explore this together and create a little design for a hat that I'm going to be making. I am going to go here and just kind of like explore so it looks like we're adding a new design let's go ahead and do that i'm going to do the standard size i love that there are tons of different options it looks very similar to something like canva where you can see it has like the instagram post you can do a facebook post so this is going to be super helpful if you have a business if you're wanting to go ahead and do some designs i see print on demand here as well which would be amazing for us crafters that are looking into doing some pod we have craft products love this right here look at these templates we got mug acrylic tumbler kids book school board wine tumbler like this is so helpful highly recommend y'all do a little exploring we got a small decal here some labels i mean this is really cool and like i said i'm doing this in real time with all of you so for fun, let's go ahead and do, I'm going to press a mug, but I'm not actually making a mug. I just kind of want to see what it's going to look like, what it's going to pop up like. Okay, cool. So here we have the dimensions. Again, this would be perfect for a decal you're creating for a mug. I'm going to go ahead and first I want to look at their templates. I think this is super cool. Like for Mother's Day, I would totally use something like this and just go ahead and edit it a little bit to make it more for my mom like maybe add grandma in there or something we have like business oh my gosh this is so cool okay i need to find something i want to find something like super simple and super cute just to put on a little hat for my daughter so oh the little easter bunny oh my gosh that's so cute there's nothing popping out to me for a hat in the templates, but I'm definitely going to hold on to that and come back later on when I'm doing a different project. I love here that I can create my own image with their Spark AI feature. This is something that they introduced a little while back, their Creative Fabrica Spark AI. Super cool. Essentially, you're going to type in something you could look up like pig in ballerina dress, and it's going to create that image directly for you, which is super cool. I've already played around with that feature before. Now this is kind of what I'm looking for. This is adorable. I've actually made something with this exact print on it. So same with this one. So cute. Oh my gosh. I like this little butterfly. Hmm. This is so tricky. How am I going to choose something? Okay. I do want to pick something super simple just because I wanted to cut it out on my Cricut, but now I'm thinking should I make like a sublimation project with this or something oh they're so cute I literally don't know what to choose okay let me just explore a little bit I can search for graphics so I can look up something super simple what's something we can just easily do something maybe like florals Ooh, so cute I'm obsessed. This one's really pretty. Ooh, for like an invitation or something, this would be so nice. But I'm thinking for a hat here, so stay feeling foxy. I actually kind of like this font. Maybe I'll just type something. Um, hmm. What's something fun I could just type here? We could do like little explorer or something. Ex explorer. Is that how you even spell it? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. If I'm spelling it wrong, y'all can tell me in the comments. Okay, this, these are some simple ones that I could kind of turn into an SVG, which would be perfect for what I'm going for. One of my daughters loves space. So maybe I could do like some type of space themed. Let's see if I can just look up space, if anything comes up. 
Hmm. No results found. Okay, that's fine. Here we have photos that you can use, different graphics. Again, you can search all of these for different things, backgrounds. The patterns feature is super cool. I like this for like a background if I'm doing an invitation or something. And again, there's, ooh, so do your own uploads and then draw. Okay, this is a game changer. I'm honestly saying this is going to be something that Cricut crafters are going to be using in competition with something like Inkscape, for example. Now, don't jump at me, okay, for me saying that. Hear me out for a minute. Inkscape is super intimidating for me, for example, to create my own designs. And I'm like, I would love to sell my own SVGs and cut files and things, but I'm just not that creative. And I know people that are experienced in Inkscape are probably thinking, Shay, you're crazy. It's so easy. Don't even worry about it. But I've tried it and like, I cannot figure it out. So something like this where I'm able to draw is really, really cool. Now, obviously I just made a stupid little <laughs> squiggle here. I don't really know what I was making, but I love that you can draw because I will be able to add different elements to my graphics that you didn't have the opportunity to do in something like the design softwares out there previously that I was using, especially at this price point. I'm just going to keep scrolling out. If you're wondering, I didn't pay for this separately. I just pay for creative. I pay for creative fabric up monthly and it ends up being about $3 a month. I get hundreds of thousands, in fact, millions of unlimited downloads to graphics, cut files, all of those things. Um, literally anything you find on Creative Fabrica. So that's why I talk about them all the time. I'm quite literally obsessed with them. Let's see what we can find. Oh, maybe we could just do like a little mermaid or like a seahorse. A seahorse would be really cool. And then maybe we'll make the hat say beach babe. Beach babe. I like that. Okay. And I would like to change the colors of this. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Hmm. Maybe we do the seahorse like a blue. We're going to move this to the background. Let's see how I can do that. Duplicate. Repeat on back. Ooh, that's cool. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's super cool. Ah, this is what I wanted. Layers. Okay, so we're going to move this to the bottom. Beach. And then babe. Something kind of like that would be cute. Maybe we make the seahorse like a little smaller. And we'll just put it like up here. Something like that. Okay, that's super cute. Just make like a little simple design for a hat. I really like how this turned out. Now let's go ahead and design something for a mug. I kind of want to play around with these graphics. I really, really love these graphics. This one's really pretty. I love that. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to go over to the text and I'm going to find a fun, I, I really just like this one. I keep going back to it. I know feeling foxy isn't quite the vibe I'm going for, but book. Worry. Super cute. Okay. So we're going to do this. Kind of like that. Let's see if there's any elements I want to add in here. Um, not particularly here. These little flowers are super cute. Oh, I love those. Okay, that's really cute. We're gonna have to do that for another project, but something like this I would totally put on a mug. And I love that I could share it right here. Let's see what other options. Here we have the save and download. So if I were to download this, I can download or export it. Let's press download. And here it's giving me the option to either remove the background, flip horizontally, which is perfect if you're doing sublimation crafts. And I can also go ahead and save as a PDF, PNG or JPEG. So that's awesome. Really cool little feature there. This is just honestly a game changer. 
So I highly recommend you check it out. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and make some fun things, but this was really cool just to explore, see different ideas. Here's a little bit more of that Spark AI feature I was talking about. Just really fun, rocket ship, all of these tons of different fun options you could be doing. Just cool all around. So yeah, check it out. I will leave a link down below just so that you can see and easily get to that page. Like I said, I've used Creative Fabrica for years. I'm obsessed with it. I know a lot of you are obsessed with it as well. Um, this whole new Creative Fabrica Studio feature is a game changer for me, especially because I go out of Cricut Design Space to create my designs. I don't do it directly in Cricut Design Space. This is going to make it so much easier to go ahead and find my graphics, all of that stuff, like this basketball one is so cute. Oh, I'm just gonna be on here for hours, honestly. I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna be playing around with this for a while. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for tons more crafty tips and fun little adventures we go on. And I'll see you all in the next one. Happy crafting.